Hello everyone, thanks for joining us for Alumni Pride. I'm Wayne McCullough and, and with me now are two people I'm proud to call they are my friends and they are graduates of Susquehanna High School in 1974. How does that make you feel? Very old. <laughs> no, you're still <laughs> young. You're still yeah. young. But with me now, starting with the left, is Jeff Brown from the class of 1974 and Julie Keller Brown in the class of 1974. So welcome guys, we appreciate you taking time mm -hmm. to join us. Happy to be here. Great to be here, Wayne. Most of you from the community <coughs> may have not known that they are graduates of Susquehanna High School, but I'm sure you know their business over in Shrewsbury is Keller Brown Insurance. Uh, so they're people that are very visible in our community and they're people that we have picked for Alumni Pride uh, really because of their involvement in the community, all the things uh, that they've done for our community with their business and also outside of their business. So it's something with great pride uh, that I'm really happy that you guys are here, so thanks for joining us. First of all, Joy, why don't we start with you and okay. tell us a little, a little bit about Keller Brown Insurance, the business. Okay. Um, well, the business was founded in 1899 by my great-grandfather, Eli Keller. Wow. And uh, then my grandfather, Harold Keller, took over, and then my father, Barry Keller. And uh, I had graduated from college, Gettysburg College, in 78, needed a job, yeah. and he uh, tried to weasel me in, and I didn't want any part of it. And I finally decided I should give this thing a try, and I'm very glad that I did. So I'm fourth generation. And we're now thinking about what's next. <laughs> one, one of the neat things that, that I, when I come over to your building, uh, because our family has our insurance through you, is what you've done to remodel the old Oddfellows building in Shrewsbury. Jeff, do you want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, it's, uh, uh, the building was built in 1853 and was an uh, Oddfellows Hall which is an organization similar to the uh, Masonic Order, it was a secretive organization. And when we bought it in 1989, it was, uh, it was a slum. It was in pretty bad shape. There were four apartments, and we completely uh, renovated the, the entire building from uh, the structural uh, steel to the wiring, plumbing, heating, roof, uh, everything. And we felt it was a real important uh, uh, for us to do that, uh, to give back to the community. Um, to take a, an eyesore away and to, you know, uh, instill some additional pride into the area, and we're, we're very happy that we did. Uh, also, it was a very motivator for, from a financial aspect <laughs> to, uh, to pay off some, some pretty heavy debt, so, but it was all worthwhile. Yeah, one of the things I think is really neat when you go in the building is you've taken some of that existing structure, some of the existing artwork that mm -hmm. was done on the plastered walls and, and have kept that as part of the building. Yes, the, the third floor ceiling was a painted mural and at the center was an eye looking down onto their meeting hall mm -hmm. and the ceiling was in very bad repair corners of it had fallen to the floor and um, we actually did the job through the National Park Service um, and got some tax credits for restoring a, an important historic structure uh, they permitted us to um, take large pieces of it and embed it in walls throughout the building as pieces of art yeah, it really is beautiful. Not a commercial, but <laughs> Keller Brown Insurance is really a full-service insurance company. Tell us a little bit about the things you offer. Okay, well, we there are actually um, Keller Brown Insurance Services is the property casualty part of our operation, and we have a sister corporation called Keller Brown and Hausman Financial Services, and uh, that organization handles the finan financial services, life, health, disability, investments, retirement, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, we um, value the, the personal lines of insurance very much. It's a very important part of what we do, uh, but we also um, have a large concentration of commercial insurance in the area, too. Yeah. So. We're going back to 1974, Susquehanna okay. High School. Uh, Jeff, a couple memories maybe that you have or one memory that sticks out in your mind of, of being a student at Susquehanna High School, gosh, uh, over 30 years ago. Mm, yeah, yeah. Oh, I have uh, so many memories. Uh, I'm just amazed at things, how things have changed in such a positive way, uh, f not just from the, the physical plant, the buildings and the facilities, but also just kind of the attitude. Seemed like when, when we were in high school, we didn't have the, uh, the winning attitude. Uh, we were kind of considered uh, country farm folks, and we really struggled for the most part in our sports programs and things like that. And one, one um, I, I, I played football and, and track uh, were my two sports, and they, uh, we only had track uh, up until 
uh, when I was in ninth grade, and then they did away with the, with the uh, track program. But our uh, track at the time was uh, Cinder Track, which ran around the high school field. Yeah. And the um, uh, pole vaulting pits were sand. <laughs> and it was just was, uh, when, you, when, you co when I come out here and see this, this, uh, this beautiful track that we, we have now, it's just, I'm just so proud to be part of that. And it's, I think it's one of the best kept secrets in the state. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous up there. The views and the track is uh, such a high quality. And, and the attitude of the, tr of the uh, you know, kids running, I mean, they're, you know, they're expecting themselves to win, and that's really neat to see that. So I'm just yeah. really happy to see all that. And glad that things have changed the way that they have. Yeah. Both, yeah. Our, both our kids were involved with track, and uh, we always were very happy to leave work early on a sunny afternoon to go w to what we called track heaven. It was right. just mm -hmm. so beautiful to be there. Oh my goodness, you're up on that track and you yeah. look out over the view oh, of Southern York County. It's yes. incredible. It's gorgeous. It? So it lucky. really is. Yeah. Uh, Jeff, one of the things I hear uh, a lot of alums talk about is some of the friendships they made here at Susquehannock that have lasted a lifetime, and I know you've had that also. Yeah, yeah absolutely, and, uh, and I'm really, uh, those friendships are you know, just important because uh, that's kind of what s sticks with you throughout life. And uh, there's just been some great people here and uh, uh, that I've got to know in high school and continue to be friends uh, throughout the rest of my life and expect it to stay that way. So yeah. Now Joy uh, really had. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna get this. But yep, we, we thought the mic might come off. But Joy played for a state championship volleyball team in 1974. So we're not going to ask you to uh, give a spike. <laughs> into the camera but but tell us about that experience well as Jeff said um, you know here we are this little country school and for, I don't know what it was the chemistry or what it was what, what that we produced a, a group of girls that um, won the state championship 1974 spring season right uh, volleyball was in the spring then and um, Carolyn Adams was our coach yeah. she was tough on us but it made good results yeah. And uh, do you want to mention some of the young ladies on that team? Oh, no, now you're going to test my <laughs> midlife <laughs> memory. That's right. <laughs> Roxy Warner. Yeah. Uh, Linda Amsbacker, Jamie Klein, um, Barb Krebs. Um, Susie McCoy was she on the team? Susie, mm -hmm. Sue, M Susie McCoy was a year younger than me. Okay. I'm just okay. trying to you're think of the, the, the seniors, seniors okay. that we had. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Deb yeah. Anderson. Deb Anderson. Can't yeah. forget Deb Anderson. Shelly. Phillips with Shelley Beaverson at the time. Right. Yep. Yeah. Well, what a tremendous accomplishment. And here's the thing that I find amazing is later then, your daughter Sarah also won a state championship here at Susquehannock High School. And I can't believe that repeat of, yeah. of mother or father and son and daughter to win state championships in the same sport happened very often in the state of Pennsylvania. Yeah. Now you're getting me all worked up. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you should. That, that's incredible. Uh, I remember. Uh, I was taping that game at Shippensburg, and because I was taping it, it was at the top of the bleachers. And when we won, I was sitting beside Shelley Phillips, Shelley Beaverson, and we were just so emotional that we didn't run down and charge the floor at the end. And, and I remember uh, hearing later that my daughter was going, where's my mom? <laughs> she was upset I wasn't <laughs> down there with her, but yeah. it was a very emotional time. Yeah, it really was. So. Here in Alumni Pride, we're talking with Jeff Brown, class of 74, and Joy Keller Brown, also from the class of 74. Joy was part of a Susquehannock High School team that won the first state championship. That was the first year that they had a state level competition, yeah. that's and, and right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, and that's just incredible. Uh, and I know even back then they didn't even have district playoffs uh, prior right. to that. Right. So, uh, you know, what an accomplishment. Uh, and then to have your daughter also win a state championship here at Susquehannock High School is just incredible. Exactly 25 years mm -hmm. later. Uh, that's yeah. amazing. Now your second daughter, Em, came close. Very, very close. Yeah. Uh, they were what, second Emotional place? night for another reason because yeah. uh, Sarah and I both took our medals to that game thinking wow. that we would each have a medal. And we did have a medal, but it was right. you know two ones and a number two. So. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Just incredible. Yeah. So uh, Jeff and Joy has three children that also, also have come through the Susquehannock High School, the Southern York County School District system. Jeff, you mentioned already things have changed a little bit. Uh, tell us about that and your perspective of the high school now and uh, you know, and so forth a little bit. Well, it, uh, the, uh, the changes I've seen uh, are for the most part very positive and that uh, we've had a lot of growth, but it seems that the school system has managed the growth 
about as well as I think it can be managed, uh, not just from a financial aspect, but also from a quality of education and um, just, a, uh, you know, I think they've done things wisely. Um, we can attest to the, the quality of education. Uh, our three children, um, two are currently uh, sophomores in college, and our oldest daughter graduated from Duquesne. And we felt that they were all very, very well prepared for college. And as a matter of fact, I think, I mean, they did well and are doing well at some very good schools. So um, I, I think that um, uh, w whatever we're doing here at this school district, we need to, to keep it up and to keep with it because uh, we're definitely on the right track. And I think that um, it's important not just to, for, for people with children uh, in the school, but also uh, people w who may not have any children in the school because it gives a, a real quality of life. To, to just living here, knowing that we have uh, good good kids who are doing positive and constructive things, and who, who will hopefully go forward and and uh, do something meaningful with their life and continue on a good quality of life for uh, for all of us. Yeah. Well, we d uh, we said we weren't going to give a commercial for Keller Brown, and I don't want to give a commercial for the school district either. But <laughs> uh, you know, when you mention that, if you think of the school district this year has the next lowest tax rate in York County. And our test scores, SAT and, yeah, and also the standardized yeah. tests that are being done throughout the buildings, are either top or second in yeah. all categories in the county. So, uh, you know, yeah. from a business standpoint, you always try to get a value for the dollar. And, yeah. I, and I think, uh, you know, taxes are high. Nobody's going to debate that. You know, none right. of us want to get our tax, tax bill. But when you look at the value you get for the dollar, I think it's incredible. Yes. I think when, um, when the kids apply to college, the, the uh, college admissions departments must have knowledge of the school district because yeah. whenever we went for interviews they knew of Southern School District and you know I think it gives you an edge. Uh, another thing Jeff didn't mention, our son Ben um, is at Chippensburg and um, you know academically not doing not only doing very well but the sense of confidence that you know yeah. you go out and you start as a freshman and you're not sure what you're getting into and I, I have to say that his sense of confidence in life um, is is tremendous and I think a lot of that came from what he got here. Yeah, uh, thank you, just very kind words. Jeff, I know you're also active in the community, you're part of the District Foundation. Correct. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us why you see value in that and, and a guy who's busy, you're in business, you, you yeah. obviously work all day and then you come out for meetings also. Yeah, well, uh, first off, I, th I think it's very important for, for anybody who uh, uh, not just owns a business, but you know, lives in the community to to give back to that community. And this is a, uh, a way in which we felt, uh, at least I felt I could give back. Um, uh, you know, it was one of the ways I felt I could give back. Uh, the the foundation, the thing that I'm most active with is the uh, scholarship program, the Dollars for Scholars, and uh, we, we believe that uh, having a good, solid education is just really important. And if we can help uh, kids to you know, continue their education, whether it's a college or a tech school, it's, we need to do that. And so the, the little bit of effort that we put in to, to raise money for that is well worth it because I think it'll pay some returns in the long run. Yeah. Joy, I know you're involved in the community also. Can you tell us some, uh, uh, something that you do in the community? Oh, a few things. I, I had been a very um, active, still kind of active in our church, Zion Lutheran and Glen Rock. Um, but uh, currently uh, serve on the Southern Community Services Advisory Board, uh, now SCS as we abbreviate it to, um, was um, merged with Penmar organization. Oh gosh, I guess it's been maybe six years ago. So because of that, I was at that time a liaison to the Penmar board and still serve on the Penmar board. Uh, good. One of the things, uh, uh, and I just know you guys, uh, you know, know you well enough to know that you feel this also, but one of the things I've always felt has enriched my life is the community that we live in. And I, I can't imagine living in a stronger community that we have here in Southern New York where there are people who are dedicated to not only having a good business, not only having good schools, but people who are dedicated to giving something back mm -hmm. also. And, I, and I've always been very, very impressed with our strong sense of community here in Southern New York. Uh, Jeff, do you experience that? Oh, ab absolutely. And I think that uh, uh, as kids graduate from here and go on with their life, uh, they can look back with a sense of pride that this is where this is where they grew up. This is where they're from, 
and uh, and take pride in that and not not be ashamed of uh, you know their their background and their upbringings because this is a, it's a great place it's a number one it's a beautiful place to live the, the rolling hills uh, around here are absolutely just gorgeous and uh, I just think that the overall quality of life is uh, is is there so I think we can kind of have our cake and eat it too with uh, living in a beautiful uh, safe place uh, yet you know people can make a living yeah so that's nice. Joy, you went to school here, played on a state championship volleyball team. Three children that came here, one daughter played on a state championship volleyball team, but both those, uh, your other two children, obviously very active in the school district and so forth. Would you want your grandchildren to come to school here? Oh, absolutely. Really? Okay. <laughs> Loaded question a little bit, maybe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just, it's, you know, there's something that pulls at your heartstrings, and you know where we came from, you know what's going on now and uh, of course you always want your grandchildren and your children to be relatively close and that's not true today with as global as the world is but yeah. uh, uh, Sarah is currently looking for a property to buy and uh, good. she's trying to keep it in Southern School District yeah, which I hope so too. <laughs> that's great and we hope your business does well for many many years Thank uh, you. Uh, and uh, you got to believe as our community changes as all communities change and our schools will change and adapt and and grow, uh, you know, obviously your industry will change and grow and you've probably seen many, many changes. Uh, but I gotta believe mm -hmm. that with the leadership of both of you that uh, you'll be able to make those adaptations and changes and still cont continue to be just a full service agency that really meet the needs of people like me in the community. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate that very, very much Thank also. You. Yeah, Thank you, Wayne. Okay, so this is Warrior Pride. We have Jeff Brown and Joy Keller Brown from the class of 1974 at Susquehanna High School, and we appreciate so much that you've joined us. So for Mr. Tim Hare, the advisor of the Video 3 class at Susquehanna High School, and the young men and women that are producing the show who are members of the Video 3 class, and Jeff Brown, Joey Keller Brown, I'm Wayne McCullough saying thank you so much for joining us, and we'll talk to you next time. Okay.